Good morning, Britain. The news you're waking up to, a glimmer of hope for sick baby Charlie Gard. As overnight, a U.S. hospital offers to send experimental medicine to the U.K. The heartbreak continues for his parents, though. Charlie's mum joins us exclusively this morning and says they still don't know how much time they have left with their son. Theresa May touches down to talk terror at the G20 summit as 76 police are injured while 12,000 march in Hamburg. Bracing for a presidential bust-up, relations cool between Trump and Putin as they prepare for their first face-to-face -face meeting. Being a BG, at 70, Barry Gibb opens up to Richard about losing his brothers and why his recent Glastonbury appearance was the highlight of his life. Friday, 7th of July, 2017. Live from ITV Studios in London, this is Good Morning Britain with Ben Shepherd and Kate Garraway. Hi there, good morning. It is Friday, it's just after six o'clock. Welcome to the programme. What's happened? <laughs> What do you I mean, thought what's the happened? nation had voted for this business to go. This business, the Charlotte, of course. I know. Your first experience of my uh, oh so masculine beard. Seeing it up close. What, do what you do think? we think? Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you, can, you can at least see it in real life. You can't see it on telly, can That's you? That's very, very close. Yes. Camera 3's got a super, super close Come on, up get there. in, get uh, in. Uh, Mike to show the well, look, By the way, the poll closes at 11 minutes past six, <gasps> so I don't want to go it's early. It's about on this. 55 to shave, isn't it, at the moment? The, so if they vote to shave, you're going to have to do that by the end of well, the because last reliable, week it was ties, We all it? know how reliable polls are these days. They're about as useful as a handbrake in a canoe. So quite frankly, <laughs> I'm not sure we can trust the polls. You have to trust the people's voice. I, yeah. I, I, I can stay at it's home like and be Brexit. nagged like You this. might not like the result then, <laughs> Shepard. We're going to be talking about workplace it. spouses, and I feel like I've got two with me this morning. Uh, Laura, fortunately, can save me, though. You're out there at Wimbledon. Uh, Laura, how's the weather looking? Good morning. Well, the weather is looking good for the 1,500 people that camped out overnight. These guys have been trying for about 10 minutes to put up their tent, and I've told them they've got about 20 seconds to do it because the queuing guide says you have until 6 o'clock in the morning to take your tents down. These girls here have just woken up. 1,500 people camped out overnight and there were already 4,500 people in the queue here at Wimbledon this morning. Uh, yesterday in the sunshine it got to 31.1 degrees on Centre Court. People who were watching fainted, so if you are heading there today, 29 degrees, you're going to need to make sure that you take some water, shade and some sunscreen with you. And they are going to close the roof this morning, not because of rain, but because of the hot weather. Players were saying yesterday it was spoiling the conditions of the grass, so hopefully all all of those plans in place today mean these people in the queue will get to see some great tennis. They'll have more on the weather and how it cools off this weekend in about half an hour. They still haven't done it. Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> It's really sometime. what you need first thing in the morning, isn't it? Laura being bouncy bit of pressure and bossy. When you're trying to put your tent away. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll be back with Laura a little bit later on. Now, our main news for you this morning. A hospital in the United States has said it would be willing 